Uh, here is your second question and uh, in first question we have learned how to draw FBD of the circular bodies or you can say a spherical bodies or cylindrical bodies and then we apply Lamy's theorem. So we have learned application of Lamy's theorem in case of a cylindrical bodies. So now here is your second question. In this question they have given the 20 kg homogeneous smooth sphere rest on the two inclines. Okay, So th this two inclines are there and this is resting on this two inclines as shown in figure. So determine the con contact forces at A and B. So of course, here we have to find We have to find reactions at A and B because these are the point of contacts here and uh, here. So there will be two reactions as we have discussed earlier in the question number one. So here they have asked determine the contact forces. So contact forces is nothing but reaction. Is nothing but reaction. So let's start with the first time that is draw FBD free body diagram. So let me erase this first. And uh, I'll enlarge it for better understanding. Okay. So now here first I'll show reactions. I already told you that reactions are always perpendicular to the contact surface, always perpendicular to the contact surface. So A is the contact. So I draw a line or you can say this represents reaction at A and this is of course perpendicular to the contact surface. This is perpendicular to the contact surface. Now I will go for the B. And I'll draw perpendicular to it. So this is RB. Again, this is perpendicular to the point B or contact surface, you can say. Now they have given here a 20 kg the weight, and you know that weight is always acting vertically downward. But weight should be in a newton. Okay, they have given in the kg. It should be in a Newton. So 20 into 9.81. So weight of the sphere is equal to 20 into 9.81. So here I'll go with the calculation and uh, it is 20 into 9.81. So here I'm getting 196.2. 196.2 and now unit is Newton okay unit is Newton so you have to consider this value for the further calculation this is the weight of the sphere so let it be if I consider center somewhere here then the weight will act vertically downward and the value is 196.2 Newton now you can see here there are three forces like previous question and uh, out of that one is known to you angles we can calculate like we did it uh, in the previous question. So here uh, we will work on the angles. Okay. So what I will do here, I will draw lines till the center. So I will extend this and uh, this one. So if I drop a vertical line, okay, if I drop a vertical line, यहाँ से मैं एक vertical line draw कर देता हूँ, तो आप देख सकते हो सर, this is the structure and one horizontal line. ये देखो यहाँ पे मैंने horizontal line draw कर दिया. So two forces or you can say the reactions at A and B and this is the weight, okay? So for better understanding, I'll take it uh, to the, you know, uh, at a different blank surface. So you will understand this So here I will zoom a little Okay, so now I'll draw the same figure over here. So, aapko samaj mein aega. This question is very uh, interesting. So, 
So, first I will draw axis, one vertical axis and uh, then horizontal axis like we did in you know uh, all the problems for the Lamy's theorem application. Okay, now I will show the reactions and the forces. So, all are directed towards the center. Then the second force and then the third force. Sorry. Okay, so this is RA. This is RB and this is weight 196.2 Newton. Now the thing is that uh, how to get the angles. So I already told you in the previous example how to get the angles. I repeat the whole thing here. See here. Now I will start with this. Okay. So here you can consider like this. One horizontal and one at an angle. See, I am considering first this case, okay, 30 degree. So, this angle is 30 degree. Now, I will consider this reaction at B, which is perpendicular, which is perpendicular to the contact surface. See, this is contact surface and it is a perpendicular to this. Okay, so reaction which is perpendicular hmm. and I will draw one more perpendicular to the horizontal. I will draw one more perpendicular to the horizontal. Okay. So, here the thing is that this is Ra. Okay. This is your horizontal surface and this is inclined. Okay. This is inclined. This is horizontal surface okay, and this is perpendicular to the horizontal surface. This is perpendicular to the incline. So the uh, theory is like I have already explained you in the first question. Thing is that see these two lines okay, and these two lines are perpendicular to each other. Okay, This one is perpendicular to this and this is perpendicular to this. So same angle will be here. Okay, sorry. Okay, same angle will be here, 30 degrees. Okay. There are different techniques. You can use a geometry. I'll show you different techniques or uh, or better way. Uh, I'll make a video and I'll show you three, four techniques, you know, to calculate the angle. Okay. In different, different cases. I always find this is very easy and a faster method to get the angle. So, I, I prefer or I'll suggest you to follow this method. Okay. So, here uh, now if I consider a vertical line over here, then of course this is 30 degree with the vertical. You can refer here 30 degree and this is 30 degree. Okay. Now, similarly on this side. Okay, now I will consider this case. So, I will explain the same thing. See here, this is horizontal, this is horizontal line. So, I will draw a horizontal line over here. And then this line, okay, this line is at 75 degree. Okay. So, I will show this is 75 degrees. So, this is inclined plane, this is horizontal. Now, I will draw a re uh, reaction at A, which is perpendicular to the contact surface. Contact surface means this is inclined. Okay. So, here I will draw a reaction A. Okay. 
So, this is reaction A and I will drop one, see this is perpendicular, okay. So, I need one more perpendicular to this line. This line is perpendicular to the incline. Now, I need a perpendicular to the horizontal. So, from here I will drop a perpendicular over here. So you can see here this is perpendicular. So, like you know we can, we discussed this. So, if this is 75 degree, okay, if, the, if these two lines are having 75 degree, then the perpendicular to these two lines have a same angle, okay. So, here it is 75 degree, means it is having 75 degree with the vertical, with the vertical. It means if I drop a vertical from here, sorry. If I drop a vertical from here, then this is a 75 degree, okay. This is 75 degree with the vertical. I hope uh, you, you are getting this, okay. Uh, always go through this method. It is faster and it is very easy. Always draw perpendicular to the given two lines, okay. The angle between these two lines are known to us. So, we have drawn perpendicular to this. Now, uh, I will consider the same angles over here. Okay, so this is 75 with the vertical here. And uh, this is 30 degree. Now, for the Lamy's theorem, you must know all the angles or you can say the angle between two forces, total angle. So, if I consider, let it be this one. First, I will go with this. So, yahan pe, I will get the angle 75 plus 30. So, it becomes 1, 0, 5. Okay. Now, this is 90 degree. By observation, you can say 90. If this is 30, this becomes 60. Okay. This becomes 60. So, total angle is 90 plus 60 becomes 150. And the last part, so 105 plus 150, so it becomes 255. 360 minus 255 becomes 105. So this total angle is 105. Or you can calculate from here, this is 90 degree, this is 75, so this is 15. So, 15 plus 90 becomes 105. I hope the free body diagram is clear to you, okay. And please do practice of it, okay, uh, calculation of angle. That is really required. Though, you know, like uh, even if you are using Lamy's theorem or you can apply any general equations like summation effect, summation effect. Angles are very much important, okay. So, do a practice a lot for the same. So, now I'll go ahead with the Lamy's equation because this FBD satisfies all the required criteria to apply the Lamy's theorem, okay. You can see here all forces passing through a single point, okay. All are compressive in nature or, uh, or you can say the towards the center, towards the center. So, we can apply Lamy's theorem over here. So, you know the Lamy's theorem. We have solved almost six questions based on the application of Lamy's theorem. So, I will proceed further and I will directly apply the Lamy's theorem. So, I will start with the known force that is 196.2 Newton divided by sine of angle between other two forces. If I consider 196.2, so the angle is 105. So, sine of 105, which is equal to, I will go ahead with the RA divided by angle between other two. So, this is 150. So, sine of 150, which is equal to RB divided by angle between other two forces that is sine 105. So, here you can equate, let it be this is 1, this is 2 and this is third fraction. So, first I will go with the 1 and 2. So, my equation will become Ra is equal to 196.2 into sine 150 
डिवाइडेड बाय साइन ऑफ वन जीरो फाइव सो हियर इफ आई कैलकुलेट द थिंग्स वन नाइंटी सिक्स पॉइंट टू इन टू साइन वन फिफ्टी सो इज इक्वल टू नाइंटी एट पॉइंट वन डिवाइड बाय साइन वन फाइव So answer is one zero one point five six newton. So this is the value of R A. Now I'll consider two and three, okay, ratios. I'll equate this two. So my equation will become R B. Is equal to R, uh, or you can go ahead with this one and three, so it will be one ninety six point two into sine one zero five divided by sine one zero five. So here you can see uh, the denominators are same, so R B becomes one ninety six point two. so these are the values of reaction at a and b as per asked in the question the contact forces you can say so i quickly revise what we have done here so just go through the question first so here the sphere or spherical body you can say is placed between two inclines so we got the two reactions we calculated the angle please do practice of this calculation of angles it is really important second thing we converted the 20 kg into the newton so this uh, this care should be taken while solving the question otherwise you will get a wrong answer then using this we completed the fbd we calculated all the required angles and then we applied the lamis theorem so after applying lamis theorem we got this equation first we equate this two to get the ra then then we equate one and third ratio to get the rb ka value guys i hope you are uh, understanding each and everything and please do practice solve on your own can do calculations on the calculator okay because when you solve on the calculator you face a different difficulties you are getting you know a different values so more practice less errors okay and if you have any doubt or if you want me to solve any question you can just put it in the comment box so i'll proceed for the third question now in the third question we are going to solve a question based on two spherical bodies okay till now we have solved only a single spherical body placed in a range or you can say the inclined surfaces but now we are going for the two spherical bodies so let's start with the third question <laughs> 